Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, your fabulous John Lambie. Not too bad, thanks. And yourself? So you mightn't, like, you mightn't pick it to look at me, but I'm from a mixed race family. Sure, my dad's an Anglo, but my mum's 100% Saxon. We moved here from Glasgow when I was a kid and talk about culture shock, so many things I'd never seen before in Scotland, like the sun and sober people. Growing up, we didn't have much, but we weren't dirt poor. Dirt, we could afford. <laughs> you know that expression that the dirt's always browner on the other side of the thing? Well, as a kid, I used to stare across at our neighbor's yard and think, who stole the fence? <laughs> didn't do well at school. They said I was lickdexic. Uh, was also... I was also molested continually as a teenager by myself. <laughs> My first job was digging ditches until I got retrenched and then I got another job. <laughs> got another job at the Bottolo driving a forklift so that really raised my spirits. <laughs> I just quit a job at a printing press. I uh, had to stack up all the old and unsold magazines. Yeah, had some back issues. <laughs> I'm currently looking for a job aboard a pirate ship, so keep an eye out. <laughs> when you're broke like me, you come up with some crazy ideas to make money. I've just released a new line of flannelette G-strings. <laughs> They're called Vajamas. I've also invented a cyber toilet with the latest in motion capture technology and a webcam for live streaming. <laughs> and I have just inked, I should say penciled a deal for a brand new reality TV idea. I'm going to combine a cooking show with a dating contest. Our working title is The Spatula. <laughs> Speaking of dating, I'm currently single by choice, of course. There's. <laughs> I like my women like I like my coffee. Thin, white and bitter. Call me old-fashioned, but I don't believe you should have sex on the first date. It really upsets the other diners. <laughs> Just at the bar before, this lady poured a drink right down the back of my shirt. Sent shivers down my spine. <laughs> Last time I asked a girl to sleep with me, she said, OK and then dropped a Xanax. <laughs> Are there any chiropractors in? <laughs> oh! I used to go out with a chiropractor. Don't know what it was, we just clicked. <laughs> Downgraded to a masseuse, but she was too needy. So I thought I'd try online dating, but let's face it, at my age, let's be real, it's carbon dating. <laughs> First one I tried was RSVP.com. Only just found out that RSVP stands for Rejects Seeking Vegan Pet Lovers. <laughs> I, I also tried Tinder, Tinder, the irony is that it's the preferred accelerant for every nine out of ten dumpster fires. <laughs> but anyway, I'm swiping away, see someone I like, and I type in, Hi, I'm John. I'm a Leo. 
what's your sign? She said, stop. <laughs> the older I get, the more bizarre, freaky, the sometimes downright, downright disturbing things start happening to my sex drive. Uh, there's no actual joke here, that's just a general heads up for <laughs> everyone in the audience. So Christmas time is coming. The thing I hate most about Christmas is getting unwrapped presents. No surprises there. I was thinking for my six-year-old niece, I, I, I'd get her a first Barbie. Should I go gas or charcoal? My little nephew's there typing a Dear Santa letter into his iPad and I notice all he's doing is hitting the enter key and I said, what are you typing? And he said, many happy returns. <laughs> with Christmas comes New Year, with New Year comes resolutions. This year I am going to get back into shape, assuming that that shape is a pear. Which means I've got to stop eating, although somebody said that if you go to a birthday celebration or a wedding or anything like that, just take one slice, no icing. One slice, no icing. Should be a piece of cake. <laughs> I also have to drastically reduce my Viagra intake. Shouldn't be so hard. <laughs> Touch wood. <laughs> but what I really want to do is quit smoking. My doctor asked me the other day, how many do you go through on a daily basis? And I went, two or three? And he said, cigarettes or packs? I said, lighters. Anyway, I think that's my time, and I've got a 6 a.m. funeral tomorrow. I'm going to give it a miss. I'm not a morning person.